good morning. So we are on day three of the Improvement Held Challenge. And today they want figures in motion. Now yesterday I did two people in yoga poses, which is technically figures in motion. So I decided to up the ante. So I am starting with a pitcher winding up the pitch. Then I'm gonna do a ballerina and a grand jeté. And then finally, I'm gonna end with a taekwondo hold. So, um, as with the yoga, anytime I draw a specific gesture or pose, I start by blocking in the action. And then I do the line of action. Then I sketch in, this is the torso, but it's sort of in a, a rectangular shape. An egg for the rib cage, and then a curved, like a bow, basically, for the shoulders. And I fix that pelvis, because it's wrong for the gesture. And I basically draw a skeleton or a stick figure form for the limbs until I can flush them out. And that allows for easier revision. All right, so I've got the basic gesture sketched in. I'm gonna start refining some of those shapes. And then just for my own reference, and because I'm always trying to better understand shading and shadow, it's not something that comes naturally to me, I go ahead and I block in the areas of shadow. Also helps to give a bit more of a dynamic feel to your sketch. All right, so I'm gonna do figures two in, and three in time-lapse. So um, if you have any questions or if you need to see anything demonstrated in a different manner, just go ahead and leave me a comment below. guys so that is how to draw or that is a demonstration of drawing several figures in motion as you can see I make use of a core shape to base the motion around I knock everything in very loosely before I commit to details and I try to hammer down placement before I really commit to anything sometimes that means you end up with a really loose sketchy sketch but if you need something tighter than this you can either scan it and work on 
on it that way. You could scan it and print it out, or you could put tracing paper on top of it. What's really important is getting the movement and the motion down early. So I hope you enjoyed my day three tutorial. We were still drawing figures, so I hope that was helpful to you guys from Improvement Hell. If you'd like to follow along with my progress, you can check out my Instagram at instagram.com slash netosoup. I post art all the time there. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. And I hope you guys enjoy the sporadic drawing tutorials that are gonna come from this drawing challenge. So have a great day, guys. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye.